In this demonstration, we're going to use cotton balls to react with oxygen in the air, a classic combustion reaction. So the hydrocarbon made of cotton is going to react with some activation energy with the oxygen in the air, and it's a very classic burning reaction. So here's our classic combustion. And there we have our fiery inferno of cotton balls. Okay, or I should say cotton spheres. In any case, what you're seeing is you're seeing the reaction, the exothermic reaction between the oxygen, of course, and um, the carbon. There's an exchange of electrons from the reducer and the oxidizer. All right, oxygen grabbing electrons from the carbon. So oxygen is acting as a agent that helps the carbon lose its electrons. So it's an oxidizing agent, and that's where the oxygen part comes from in oxidizing. Oxygen has an action of taking electrons away. You saw the flame and the heat given off because we're making stable compounds. Now, what I'm going to do is give you another reaction. Now, this wasn't a very fast reaction because the oxygen in the air had to hit the carbon. So only the exposed carbon on the outside was able to in fact react with the uh, oxygen. So the carbon on the outside. So the best way that I love to explain this, if I take in your classic wedding or dance party, some people like to get in little circles. Okay, so if you get a little circle here of cotton balls or cotton spheres, so anybody that's in the circle, like these burnt, okay, charcoal carbon, notice the black carbon left over, okay, in complete combustion there. Um, these cotton uh, spheres do not have an ability, okay, at least the black ones in the middle, okay, this one in the middle cannot come in contact with the others. Only the outside edged or, or the cotton balls on the outside can have a physical collision with the oxygen. So we only burned from the outside in. Once this was burned and exposed, we exposed more. So it was a slow reaction. I'm now going to do this with something called gun cotton. Now gun cotton, okay, is cotton that has had nitrous groups added, NO2 groups. And having the nitrogen in the O2 groups already, NO2 groups attached to the carbon, okay, what we have is we have the oxidizer, the oxygen, okay, already in the carbon. So we don't have to react from the outside in like we did before to have a slow reaction. We should have a very fast rate of reaction because the oxygen or the oxidizer with the NO2 groups are already present throughout the entire molecule. Case in point, here we go. So watch how fast this reaction goes. Okay, and if again, to compare it with our what? Very slow reaction of the cotton ball reacting from the outside in. Its surface area isn't as great. Okay, and of course, we were to bring some cotton, uh, nitrous cotton, or uh, nitrous cellulose, we like to call it and uh, a much different rate of reaction. I kind of like that, so we'll do that one more time to show you the different rate of reaction. And all I did was charge the cotton, the cellulose, with NO2 groups to mix the oxidizer inside. Rate of reaction is much faster, and here we go. And it lit the other spheres I had. The dancers are now lit. That was a big one. Okay? Hope you enjoyed it.